Hi there. Now here we've got a question based on working with areas of sectors and radians. So if you'd like to uh, have a go at this, haven't had a chance to, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now for the first one then, we've got to find in centimeter squares the area of the sector BDE. And in order to find the area of a sector, remember it's a fraction of the area of a complete circle. Okay, we think of the circle all the way around here. If you're unsure of this, do check out my video tutorials on this. But essentially, we've got the area of the sector, let's just put a, an intro in here, area of sector and we'll just say that it is BDE and it will be a fraction of the area of the circle. That fraction is 1.4 radians compared with 2 pi that it takes to make a complete turn, the equivalent of 360 degrees and it is of, so it's times by the area of a circle which would be pi r squared so pi times the radius, which is 5, squared. And you'll notice the pi's cancel. And we end up with what some of you might know as a common formula for this. That is, it's a half the angle times the radius squared. Half theta r squared, some of you might remember. Well, if you work this out anyway, you find it comes to 17 0.5 centimeter squares. So that's the area then of the sector. Now when it comes to working out the next part which is the size of the angle DBC given the answer in radians that's this angle in here then because we are got a triangle here with three sides then we use the cosine rule. Okay so using the cosine rule for part B, we've got that the cosine of the angle DBC, and again, you should be familiar with this. Do check it out on my website if you're not. All you do is you do the sum of the squares of the two sides that surround the angle that you want to find. So we'll just do 5 squared plus 7.5 squared, and then you subtract the square of the side opposite the angle you're trying to find. So minus 6.1 squared. And this is all divided by twice the product of the two sides that surround the angle that you want. Okay, so that's 2 times the 5 times the 7.5. All you've got to do now, just work this out on your calculator. What you find you get is 0.5872 and so on. Now when it comes to working out the angle here, you've got to take the inverse cosine to both sides, but do take care, make sure your calculator is in radians mode, because we've got to give the angle in radians. So to get that, you take the inverse cosine then of 0.5872 and so on. If you're in radians mode, which you should be, you should find you get 0.9432 and so on. And we've got to give this to three decimal places. So to three decimal places, it's 0.943 radians. Just put rad there to three decimal places, 3dp for short. Okay, 